How is it that Jesus was preaching the good news, the gospel, before he went to the cross? A lot of people, including myself at one time, thought that the good news and the gospel, that, that the cross was it and the resurrection. But that's only the end result. That's only the end of Act 3 and the final solution from the standpoint of Christianity. The gospel is so much more, and until we realize what it is, we're not going to be able to be effective evangelists and leading people to Jesus Christ. The good news and the gospel is this. The fact that the world is full of sin, the world was corruption, it was a fractured creation in Genesis 3 whenever Adam didn't listen to God and listen to his wife and listened to himself in disobeying God. Because of that choice, sin and death entered the world. And we disobeyed God. And we are worthy of his wrath and his justice. The fact that we are sinners in the hands of an angry God before Jesus is very, very true. But the gospel isn't about us. We are not at the center of this. God and God alone, for the glory of God, is at the center of it. Because when Jesus willingly went to the cross to be killed by his Father, to satisfy God's justice, his righteousness, his wrath, his mercy, his love, that's what the gospel is. God is satisfied with the purest sacrifice, the unblemished lamb that is Jesus Christ. That is the fullness of the gospel, and that is what Jesus came to preach, that there would be an end to sin, that there would be mercy for those who believed in the name of Jesus, that God's wrath was satisfied and would be satisfied. He was giving a preview of coming attractions, all the prophets in the Old Testament and many righteous men and women in the Old Testament looked forward to that good news. Not just the cross, not just the resurrection, but the full gospel. They looked forward to it while we look back and are grateful. That is the gospel, and that's what Jesus was talking about throughout his three and a half year ministry on earth. The gospel isn't just about the cross. It's about God being satisfied with the cross.